Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to write a code for this star pattern. If you have watched the previous video of this coding series, then this video will be very easy for you. But if you haven't watched the previous video, then don't worry about it. We are going to develop the code of this star pattern from step one. But right now we are going to see the solution of this star code for those who have watched the previous video. Okay, right here, look right here loop from r equals to number of lines to 1 this is the line that you have to change from the previous solution you have to reverse the loop for number of rows then you will get this kind of a star pattern okay so this was the solution for those who have watched the previous video so that they don't have to put their time in this now you can go and implement the solution of this star pattern and if you find any difficulty in implementing the code of this star pattern, then rewatch this video. Now we are going to develop the code of this star pattern from step 1. So we have discussed that we are going to follow the similar structure as we have been following for this coding series. So we are going to identify the number of rows, then the number of columns, and we are going to see the pseudocode of it. And at the last, we are going to implement this pseudo code on VS Code Editor. So the first thing is that we are going to identify number of rows and number of columns. They are going to help us in looping through the program. As you can see here that we are looping for C that is stand for number of columns and R for number of rows. So we have to identify the number of columns and number of rows so that it will be very helpful in looping through this structure. So what will be the number of rows? First point, the number of rows will be equal to the number of lines. As you can see in this example, there are three lines, one, two, and three. So the number of rows will be three. Okay, next, how to identify number of columns? For this, there is a formula to identify the number of columns for this kind of star pattern. The formula is 2 multiplied by number of lines minus 1. Let's see this with an example. Okay, right here, you can see there are how many number of lines are here. 1 and 2. Put the value of number of lines in this formula. 2 multiplied by 2 gives you 4 minus 1 gives you 3. So how many number of columns for this structure right now? There will be 3 columns. Likewise, how many number of lines are there for this structure 1 2 and 3 put the value of number of lines in this formula 2 multiplied by 3 gives you 6 and take away 1 minus 1 how much 6 minus 1 gives you 5 so there are 5 number of columns like this it will go for this okay that's how we will identify number of columns and number of rows so we have successfully completed the objective of finding the number of rows and number of columns. Now, we are going to see the pseudocode of it, but before seeing the pseudocode, we have to identify that when we are going to put an asterisk in the cell and when we are going to leave the cell empty. Okay. For that, we have to find out the midpoint of all these things. What is the midpoint? And the midpoint is calculated according to the number of columns. In this example, we can see there are five columns. One, two, three, four, and five. The midpoint of this will be three. Okay. So we have taken the midpoint is three. Then we have to satisfy this condition right here to put an asterisk in the cell. If this whole condition returns true, then we have to put an asterisk in the cell okay so we are going to see it with an example below here we have a table in which we can see there are column numbers c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 and there are rows numbers r3 r2 and r1 we have already calculated the value of mid minus r plus 1 r stands for number of rows mid plus r minus 1 now we are going to compare it with the value of column okay so the value of first row that is r3 
we are going to see this condition first this one 1 is less than equals to c1 yes it is equals to c1 then we are going to check this condition also 5 is greater than equals to 1 5 is greater than 1 then we are going to put an asterisk here then we are going to see 1 is less than 2 yes it is 5 is greater than 2 it is then we are going to put an asterisk 1 is less than 3 it is 5 is greater than 3 it is then put an asterisk 1 is less than 4 it is 5 is greater than 4 it is put an asterisk 1 is less than 5 it is and 5 is equals to 5 it is then put an asterisk now you can see that we have got the similar line as we are seeing here in this colorful pattern okay now we are going to go for the second one quickly 2 is less than 1 no 2 is greater than 1 then this whole condition will return false then don't put an asterisk here 2 is equals to 2 yes it is 4 is greater than 2 it is then put an asterisk 2 is less than 3 it is 4 is greater than 3 it is put an asterisk 2 is greater than 4 no 2 is less than 4 yes it is 4 is equals to 4 it is put an asterisk 2 is less than 5 it is but 4 is not greater than 5 then this condition whole returns false then we have to leave the cell empty okay and for this also we are going to follow this similar structure so quickly put an asterisk here so we have after the last asterisk we can see that this structure is similar to this structure okay now we have seen that we have to calculate the midpoint then we have to satisfy this condition to put an asterisk in the cell if this condition does not satisfy then the cell will remain empty now this whole thing must be converted to a program or to a pseudo code so we are going to see it here on the right hand side we can see there is a pseudo code written for this start pattern so we are going to understand it line by line Firstly, we are going to write a function that is called print start pattern, which is going to access some number of lines. After that, we are going to calculate the number of columns to multiply by number of lines minus one, as we have seen here that we have to calculate the number of columns so that we can loop through the columns. So to multiply by number of lines minus one, then we have to calculate the midpoint. After that, we are going to loop for number of rows, but it will be in the, in the reverse direction means it will start from number of lines to one after that we are going to make a variable that is called str and assign it with the empty value then we are going to look for columns one to number of columns that we have calculated in the second line and inside this loop we are going to check the condition to put an asterisk in the cell or to append or concatenate the variable that is called str with an asterisk or leave it empty then once the loop for number of columns over then we are going to print the value of str variable okay so this was a pseudo code now we are going to implement it on vs code editor now we have opened the vs code editor and we are going to write a program with the help of this pseudo code for the star pattern but if you are unfamiliar with vs code editor then we have a video of VS Code Editor. The link for the video is given in the description. And we have also created a video for extension of VS Code Editor. If you are beginner with VS Code Editor, then these extensions will help you in writing your program quickly and efficiently. Then do watch this video. The link for this video is also given in the description. Now let's start with the program with the help of this pseudo code. So the first line of pseudocode says that we have to write a function that is called print stair pattern. So we have written which is going to accept some number of lines. After that, we have to calculate the number of columns. So let num columns 
will be equals to 2 multiplied by number of lines minus 1. Next, we are going to calculate the midpoint. Let mid equals to mat dot floor number of columns divided by 2 plus 1. Next, we are going to loop for number of rows for let r equals to 1 r is no we have to loop in reverse order so we have to do r equals to number of lines r will be greater than r equals to 1 then we have to increase r r plus plus inside this we have to create a variable that is called str and initialize it with empty value so let str with empty value initialization of str variable after that we are going to loop for number of columns for let column equals to 1 c is less than equals to number of columns that we have already calculated then plus plus C++. Inside this, we have to check the condition for putting an asterisk or concatenate this variable str with an asterisk or leave it empty. We are going to write it mid minus r plus 1 is less than or equal to c and mid plus r minus 1 is greater than or equals to c then we are going to concatenate the str variable with asterisk else it is not the case then we are going to concatenate the string variable str with empty string once this for loops over okay once this for loop for column is over, then we are going to print the value of str variable. So we are going to write print. So we are right now we are not using the C language, we are using the JavaScript language for this coding. So we are going to write console.log str. Okay, and save the program now call the function by passing some kind values let's say three save it now we have to pull up the terminal and right here node star pattern and hit enter After this, So right now we are seeing that our loop is not stopping because there is an error and that error is firstly we have to stop this clear and the error is that in this for loop so we have initialized it with the number of lines that is we have seen that how many number of lines we are passing 3 so the value of r will be 3 but we are increasing it we are r plus plus we are increasing it three four three five then it will be always greater than one and this is causing us the infinite loop so we have to decrease it and we have to write r minus minus save the program again and write the similar commands star Hit enter. Oh wow, what's happening? Mm -hmm. The problem is being identified, and the problem is that that we are writing the wrong logic. As you can see, that we are not printing this console dot log after the loop for number of columns over. That's why we are seeing the wrong pattern. 
so we have to remove this console dot log from here and we have to write it outside of the columns loop now we are going to save it and we are going to see the similar pattern as expected okay now to start we can see the similar pattern like we are seeing in this image on the left hand side and if you want to test it with another value give it right 5 save come in a terminal write the same command hit enter for 5 number of lines we can see this kind of pattern is printed so this was the program for this start pattern now we have to rectify the code this is a challenge if you can solve it you have to watch the previous videos for rectifying it because we are following the similar pattern to see the solution for rectifying always watch the end part of the portion where we rectify the code here we are not going to rectify the code just going to give you the explanation what is the meaning of rectifying the code rectifying means to optimize your code means you can reduce the number of lines you can reduce the complexity of the code that's what rectify means always try to rectify whenever you have completely or successfully solved the problem okay so here you can rectify it check out the previous videos do watch the end part to see the rectification okay so this is the end of the video if you like this video then do share the videos to others subscribe to the channel for new videos like this if you have any doubts any queries write it down in the comment section thank you for watching this video